Welcome artist welcome to the growing artist podcast in the today's guest is art by funny welcome funny to the podcast so let us begin our podcast okay uh, so my full name is aditya funny sanjay but uh, i prefer to be called as funny basically i'm a uh, biotechnology engineer from graduated from mit rawalpindi 2020 pass out uh, mm-hmm. but you know art has been uh, you know part of my life since like since my schooling i was there uh i i used to scribble and stuff you know i was scribble and mm-hmm. all on my walls uh, and that used to you know make me happy when uh, i show them stupid scribbles to my mom she used to smile and that used to make me happy like okay uh, i think i found something you know an activity that i could do that would mm-hmm. make me mom smile and i i think i could take this seriously and uh, you know uh, people will would start to appreciate uh, for my talent or stuff i, I wanted that mm-hmm. kind of attention you know when i do something i just really wanted that kind of attention and people uh, feel amazed i just want to see that and stuff but mm-hmm. uh, you know till my say uh, i would say a higher education i mean sorry, secondary education right uh, till that you been high school yeah high school yeah high school mm-hmm. but till that i was not that serious into art uh, you know it, it was all about studying and stuff but uh, when i got into b tech i was in my first sketchbook and i used to start scribble just with a pen or a pencil that was just traditional art either graphite or a pen that's it not even color mm. pencil or paint it was just a pen or pencil and i just used to uh, sketch randomly and stuff so after my b tech during pandemic uh, <laughs> first when of covid that's when you know i bought some proper art supplies and started learning portrait all by myself you know it was all self taught taking inspiration in art was from other artists you know uh, trying the mm-hmm, style yeah, of the art was uh, trying the style and uh, trying to understand how the style i mean the art style works and all mm-hmm. you know it just didn't fix to a single element it might be a portrait or landscape or you know whatever the perspective but now you develop your own style actually yeah yeah i just kept on doing whatever i find you know attractive like it might be whatever style it might be doodling it might be portrait it might be mm. you know floral what a character digital art and all this art i haven't started it yet and later on like after an year just before the covid second wave i guess uh, my dad got to Uh, gave me a my card mm-hmm. that i started doing this lot i installed procreate and uh, started doing this a lot uh, and later on i thought let's grow my instagram handle and that's when the reels were introduced like mm. uh, the sick we all are introduced to you by reels and one yeah, question yeah. i don't want to interrupt you but how do you get so views on reels okay, can you give me a few tips know. like you you are lying i know because they say if you post reels on a particular time you get views no no, no. there's nothing like that I, if you could see i don't follow a time period i just post it randomly whenever i want it, it might be in the morning or evening or afternoon sometimes i post it at night time or like around i think it's because you audio do you use i think sir what i think you use the famous audio no nothing like that i don't do trending audio on if you could say i i edit my own audio to Okay, it will just have to edit my own audio. I don't use that. Got it. Audio. So your artwork is like you have managed the algorithm. I I don't know it myself. Like, see, one thing I learned was uh to you know make something attractive that the viewers will just stick to your videos and uh, make sure it it uh it is uh shareable and saveable. real mm. or post whatever it might be see if, if you just see it a sign but you should make sure that a person sees it and shares it to another person mm. you want this content to be seen by another person you should make that kind of content i would say i mean not content, a, re, uh, a reel so instead of just showing the process of my art work i thought that's putting some entertainment to it so mm. add some filming this stuff you know apart from art these are some that's additional great. Uh, spices so, i would say spices mm. that you add it's like you have like filming skills and storytelling skills in your art too yeah. 
if i can share yes exactly but you know in 60 seconds you can't put a lot of storytelling but mm, yeah, that's i managed true. to put it as short as and one thing i can tell your mom supports you a lot that's great man yes. I love your reels with your mom actually. Yeah, we won that, but uh, you know she is she artist too? Fine. No, she she plays veena. I mean musician. Plays, she used to paint them, but uh, when I was a kid I saw her painting few times. She plays uh, you know veena is a some musical instrument mm-hmm. that the traditional musical. Instrument. Yeah, yeah, got it. Like but, Sita artist. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. but it's a big big one. Mm-hmm. And what are your tools actually? What software do you use for digital art? So it's not anything like permanent. So right now, I mean, at first, uh, what uh, the rookie mistake? What I did was I got myself fixed to a single software or application. Like I found mm. Procreate uh, was friendly, so I just got fixed to it, and I never uh, thought of learning other software like, uh, like you know, exploring yeah. softwares. Yeah, I didn't explore other software like there is Clip Studio Paint, there is uh, yeah, I, I use that. Paint, there is uh, Sketchbook and Krita. Uh huh, Krita. Krita. I can if in your art style, I can I can I am not interrupting, but according to art style, I can give you a drawing software which is completely free, and its brushes are actually pretty awesome. You feel like you are drawing on paper. It's like a Fire Alpaca 64. Yeah, okay, now I'll 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 check. about it yeah i can tell you its name on ig mm-hmm. okay i don't think it is available on ios or you can check it out i use it on windows like the drawing tablet shit so our next question is your thoughts about instagram thoughts about instagram like uh, can you be a little specific according to me everyone is discovering you from reels so tell us about reels and instagram is according to me many artists i have met in the show most of them are saying that instagram is lowering their reach but instagram is making is like making you making your profile more visible to other people okay Uh, is that correct yeah. i think because everyone i can see every artist i know every artist i follow most of them are following you okay so okay uh, let me tell you the thing like the instagram was first a photo sharing app mm-hmm. that time like usually if you uh, an artist what what can he share he shares the pictures of his artwork right uh, mm-hmm. till that till that you know uh, till 2020 yeah, yeah till the reels were launched Every artist mm-hmm. who used to just post an artwork, I mean, you know, some aesthetic pictures of their artworks. Except mm-hmm. that one used to shoot videos or in the process, and no one used to share it in Instagram, on Instagram. Except mm-hmm. that their YouTube artists, they used to you know share some thoughts or process of their artworks or see something in YouTube on YouTube because it's a video sharing app. YouTube is a video sharing app. And right now, Instagram is becoming more like a you know short video mm-hmm. creating. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. So you were-